something very strange is up with our sun. Sun has broken free and created a tornado-like swirl. Back-to-back -back solar flares are headed for Earth, and that new is a double-edged sword, or that news. Can you imagine a world without the internet? Sounds frightening, doesn't it? Well, unfortunately, this is a reality we may have to live with if the sun has its way. Scientists have estimated that a large solar flare could take out not only the internet, but all other communication systems we are accustomed to. But what is the likelihood of such a catastrophe? Stay tuned to find out. In 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington was using his telescope to observe the sun. Suddenly, he noticed something unusual, two bright and white patches on the sun's surface. This was a time when people were outdoors, working on their farms, living a life more connected with nature, as technology was not as advanced. In this era, the light bulb hadn't even been invented yet. That would happen 20 years later. Little did Carrington know that he was witnessing an event that would later be named after his observation, the most significant solar storm ever recorded. It was, in fact, the first observed and reported solar flare and marked a pivotal moment in the history of our understanding of the sun and its impact on Earth. That year, the auroras, commonly known as the Southern and Northern Lights, were truly extraordinary. These dazzling light displays were more intense than they had been in the last 160 years. While auroras typically grace the skies near the Earth's poles during this exceptional year, they extended far beyond those regions. The illuminated lights could be witnessed not only near the poles, but also closer to the equator. From Australia to Canada, and even in tropical locations like Panama, Jamaica or Cuba, people were treated to the spectacular sight of auroras. The luminous waves rolled across the sky, reaching as far as the zenith, and some were substantial enough to cast shadows on the ground. The colorful displays were exceptionally bright, to the extent that if you were in Missouri at the time, you could comfortably read a book by the atmospheric light well past midnight. The brilliance of the light was so remarkable that even gold miners in the Rocky Mountains, waking up to what they thought was a cloudy morning at 1 a.m. local time, proceeded to prepare their breakfast without realizing that the sun had not risen. The intense solar outburst in 1859 had consequences far beyond the mesmerizing auroras. The surge in solar activity caused electrical disruptions from Boston to Paris, affecting telegraph lines. The atmosphere was so charged with electricity that telegraph machines could transmit messages from Pittsburgh to New York without the need for batteries. In Paris, sparks even flew from telegraph machines. Now, there are concerns about another powerful solar storm potentially occurring in 2025. This event could lead to massive power cuts and blackouts, disrupting internet access in entire communities, possibly for months or even years. Today, our dependence on electricity is significantly greater than in the 19th century. It extends beyond powering gadgets in our homes to critical areas, like hospitals and other essential facilities where technology is indispensable. Electricity is vital for food storage and it plays a crucial role in our everyday activities, including work and communication. A solar storm as potent as the Carrington event could result in trillions of dollars in damages on Earth. Power outages could affect up to 40 million people in the United States alone, lasting for several years. Hey spacers, before the internet goes haywire, please take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos on the dangers of space. And now, watch out for those solar flares. Solar flares are the most powerful explosive events occurring in our solar system. They result from the buildup of magnetic energy in the sun. When this magnetic energy is released in an intense burst, it triggers a solar outburst. 
This event generates waves of energy that propagate outward, impacting various celestial bodies in our solar system, including Earth. As these electromagnetic waves interact with Earth's magnetic field, several things occur. Firstly, electric currents flow in the upper layers of our atmosphere, heating the air. This process can be likened to Earth having its own electric blanket. During this stage, breathtaking auroras become visible over polar regions. However, it's also a period when disruptions to GPS and radio signals occur. The heating of the atmosphere causes it to expand, similar to a marshmallow puffing up. This expansion introduces more drag on satellites in low orbit, effectively pushing them back towards the Earth's surface. Additionally, the disturbance can alter the courses of small fragments of space debris, creating potential hazards in orbit. When strong electric currents flow through Earth's upper atmosphere during a solar flare, they can influence currents flowing through the planet's crust. This interaction has the potential to disrupt electrical conductors sitting atop the crust, such as power grids. Power grids form the network that transports electricity from generating stations to buildings and homes. The outcome of this disruption is power outages in specific areas and rectifying such issues can be challenging. A notable example of this occurred in Quebec in March 1989. Following a powerful solar flare from the sun, a subsequent burst sent a billion tons of gas directly toward Earth. This event led to a 12-hour blackout in the region. Only a few months later, in August, another solar flare, even larger than the one in March, caused damage to microchips worldwide and plunged Quebec into darkness once again. Solar flares can pose significant threats to our technology. In winter 2022, a solar storm knocked more than 40 Starlink mini satellites out of orbit, showcasing the real-world impact of space weather on our technological infrastructure. Solar storms often coincide with the sun releasing large bubbles of solar material, known as coronal mass ejections, CMEs. These CMEs can contain billions of tons of plasma, and they can move at incredibly high speeds, often reaching millions of miles per hour. While solar storms emit radiation, CMEs represent plasma eruptions from the sun. Coronal mass ejections, CMEs and solar flares emit particles and radiation upon interacting with Earth's upper atmosphere resulting in the creation of geomagnetic storms. These storms generate fresh currents and inject energy into typically passive electrical grids, posing a risk of overload. To illustrate, consider the oscillating electricity from a standard wall plug operating at approximately 50 Hertz. In contrast, geomagnetic storms produce radio waves with frequencies ranging from 85 to 105 million hertz. In the broader spectrum, gamma rays and X-rays boast frequencies reaching up to 50 quintillion hertz. Solar radiation, encompassing the waves triggered by CMEs and solar flares, aligns with the spectrum used by phones but is substantially more potent, being a few billion times stronger. When these waves spiral out of control, they have the potential to disrupt various technological systems, including electrical grids and communication networks. Recognizing and mitigating these potential impacts is crucial for upholding the reliability and stability of our interlinked technology-dependent infrastructure. Researchers are expressing concerns about the potential impact of a powerful solar storm that might strike in 2025. These solar storms reach their peak, which can become notably intense, approximately every 11 years. While we have often been fortunate as many of these storms bypass Earth, there's a growing realization that our good fortune may not last indefinitely. Currently, there is about a 2 to 3% chance of experiencing a Carrington-level event in this decade. The consequences of such an event 
would extend beyond a one-time loss for the electrical grid. Recovering from a solar storm of this magnitude could take up to 10 years. The aftermath might set humankind back by nearly two decades. The energetic particles unleashed during the event could inflict damage on our satellites, potentially leading to a loss of communication services, including TV, internet, and GPS. Moreover, exposure to intense radiation poses a significant risk, potentially resulting in long-term health issues for people. The potential impact of significant solar radiation on DNA, especially for individuals not shielded by Earth's magnetic field like astronauts, raises concerns. Protecting against colossal solar storms is a priority for humanity. Strengthening power grids, undersea cables and satellites to prevent overload is a crucial step. Additionally, efforts are underway to develop methods for predicting these storms, although they pose challenges. Solar storms, occurring for millions of years, have only been recorded for less than a century and the technology they affect is just two decades old. Presently, scientists observe sunspots and dark patches on the solar surface indicating high plasma activity. Monitoring sunspots allows us to predict solar storms up to two days in advance, though not with the precision of tracking hurricanes. As we approach 2025, efforts are underway to enhance our readiness and mitigate the risk of a future without the internet due to severe solar storms. So, spacers, what do you think? Is the internet way too important for our modern way of life? Or could we benefit from a break from going online for a bit? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next Space Trek.